Come on in. You all know the story by now. I complain about different types of stupid customers in an outrageous and comical manner. We all relate and laugh and you subscribe. Because statistically me mentioning subscribing means more of you will. I'm sure you would have anyway, but if these videos are thought as anything, you shouldn't expect basic logic from most people. Anyway, let's get on into the video and talk about these spaced out spanners one more time. Do you take credit cards? Asking if a shop takes credit cards is a question that makes sense in your local privately owned grocer or other similar small businesses about the place. Being a small shop is hit or miss whether they do or not. But why in the fanny finger and fuck are you asking me when I'm clearly working in a store that has literally hundreds of stores nationwide? Do you think this company can afford to open shops all over the country and make their company a household name but can't afford the equipment to take even more money off you? If they could, they'd employ people to grab you by the ankles and shake the last bit of sense out of your thick fucking skull. That's 4037 then, please. There you go. I just printed that off this morning. Stop. Huh? Just stop. That wasn't funny the first time I heard it, and it sure as fuck isn't funny the 9,000th time. In fact, here's a few jokes and phrases you can all stop fucking saying. Lovely weather, isn't it? We don't know. We work indoors. Uh, if it doesn't scan, it must be free. Congratulations, you're now being charged double the price. You look bored, let me give you something to do. Trust me, I have no shortage of things to do in here. I'm just choosing not to do them because fuck you, that's why. Pretty much anything that's not funny or interesting outside the door carries the same comedic weight and intrigue in here. If you find it difficult to know what to do when you're at the till and feel like you need to say something, just remember this jaunty little rhyme. Don't open your mouth and get the fuck out. Do you have any offers on? I currently work in an electronic shop that requires customers to give us personal details for warranty reasons. And by that I mean a backup receipt in their systems for when a customer inevitably comes back with a faulty item and no receipt, because they were caught short for a condom and all they had in their pocket at the time was a receipt and a rubber band or whatever other excuse they'd use to explain why they don't have the thing that ensures their item worth 500 euro that they bought two days ago. But one of the details we ask for is an email address, which on occasion a customer doesn't have. In 2018. While they brag away in their damn iPhone. While upgrading their fucking laptop. Do you sell bread? Can you hurry up? I'm in a rush. Lady, I've been doing this shit for years. I've begrudgingly perfected the art of scanning and bagging shit and add to the fact that I hate most people and want to spend as little time as possible serving them. Don't you think I'm already going as fast as I can already? I'm sure your life is very important and you've got lots of important people things to do like collect your government check, I mean child from school, and take him to soccer practice while you go cheat in your hut, I mean go to your book club. But the point I want to make is I don't really care where you're going and what you're doing and why you need these things done in a timely manner. And perhaps if you were a little more polite, I would have at the very least tried to move a little bit faster. But now that's not going to happen. I am not at all going to move fast, all because you decided to be a bit of a... Oh. What's that word? Ah. Uh, I know it. It begins with a C. Oh. Give me a second, it'll come to me. Do you sell DVDs? This one twists my testicles as a cashier as well as a customer. So you're on the shop floor stacking shelves or whatever other job you're doing when you're not manning the till. One of the lads is already on the till serving people, but there's a bit of a queue after building up. So you jump on the till to leave a few people off and deal with the queue. So you trot over to the till and announce, NEXT. But rather than the next person in the queue coming up to you, the person at the back of the queue marches up past everybody he's been waiting behind and looks you dead in the eye completely oblivious to what just happened. Why do people do this? I didn't say it last, I said next, as in next person in the queue, not next to the back or next person off the special bus. And what's worse is nobody in the fucking queue says anything. This person has just slighted you, wronged you, made a cunt of you, and you're not going to say anything out of fear of confrontation. Come on people, you know you wouldn't do that to anybody, why let them do that to you? As much pleasure as it gives me to say, actually, that lady was next, it would endow upon me a great wave of sexual pleasure to hear somebody in the queue say, Where in the fuck are you going? It's that easy. Hmm. I usually end these with a punchline. Close enough. Do you have toilets? Occasionally you'll get these pillocks through the door of your voluntary live prison. You know the ones that come up to the counter and say something not too indifferent to this. My friend told me you sell Japanese flying squirrels. No, we don't sell Japanese flying squirrels. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. It being a grocery store and not a pet shop. So I'm fairly confident we don't. But my friend says you do. Oh, does your friend work here? No. Well then you had better ask somebody who does indeed work in the place that you've come to inquire about whether or not they sell a particular thing. Lucky for you, you have one employee standing right in front of you right now. And I don't quite know how to tell you this, so I'll just come right out and say it. As hard as it is to understand, and believe me, 
still leaves me baffled. A person who works in a store knows more about this store than Mary DeWire, the aging widow you meet up with once a week for a coffee and a chat. I know, it's a hard one to take on board. I can't believe it myself, but I guess it's just one of life's great mysteries we're just gonna have to live with. Now fuck off. The SL wine. Hello, Savage Value, where value may or may not be Savage Ducky speaking, how may I help? I just wanted to ask you a quick question. Yeah, fire away. Are you open today? No, I'm afraid we're closed. Closed? Then how did you answer the phone? Oh, you're a clever one, you. There's no getting nothing past you, is there? I like what you did there, though. Even after I answered the phone, you still asked me if we were open, as a ruse to throw me off the scent of your magnificent intellect. My, my, it's not every day I come across somebody as sharp as yourself. Now, excuse me while I go off and test the textile strength of this rope with my neck, as I don't believe I'm worthy of speaking with somebody of such Einsteinery smarts. Do you sell milk?